Hello, good afternoon, Go Erie Facebook. I'm Erie Times News online reporter, Sarah Grabsky. Thank you so much for joining us today. I am doing a live look at the setup and the layout and pretty much everything you need to know um, about your 2019 Roar on the Shore motorcycle rally here in Erie County. We are actually in Northeast at Lake Erie Speedway. I know a lot of people had questions about what it looks like, what the setup is gonna be like. So I'm gonna be walking you through exactly that today. Um, bear with me. So um, if you are with us now, um, we are, I am standing in the Lake Erie Speedway parking lot. So basically if you've been to Lake Erie Speedway, you know it's right off of Route 89. So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna walk you through start to finish. And when I mean say finish, I mean we're, I'm gonna walk you from the parking lot into where the concerts are inside Lake Erie Speedway. Um, and I'm gonna walk you through everything you can see here, uh, what there is to do, what there is to buy, food, vendors, all of that great stuff. All while telling you I've got my little handy dandy roar, oop, that was Lita Ford, Roar on the Shore uh, motorcycle rally um, guide here. So I'll be filling you in on what all there is to do here too, activities as well. So I am standing, like I said, in the parking lot of Lake Erie Speedway. Um, so just to give you a reference, that's you turn, if you're coming from 86 or if you're, well, if you're coming from 89, you turn onto Delmas Road, you know that that's kind of where Lake Erie Speedway is. There's signs that are lining the road that say parking here, parking here. That is where I'm at. So like the parking lot of Lake Erie Speedway, if you were to come here for any certain event, that's where most bikers are going to be parking. So as you can see behind me, I'm gonna turn the camera around and turn myself around so you can see um, parking. So you'll park here. This is where a lot of the bikes already are lined up. As you can see, um, Roar here started yesterday and this lot behind or that you're looking at right now was filled with bikes. So this is where all of the bike parking is gonna be. Um, and then as you can see, you walk this way, looking toward Lake Erie Speedway, you can see that this is, there's vendors on the outside um, with kind of some things to do. And then there's vendors on the inside. So I'm walking you here through the outside first, and then we'll go through to the inside. The inside, of course, is where all the concerts are gonna be. Um, it's also kind of fun. And it has been fun in years past when the or when the motorcycle rally has been downtown to kind of look at bikes out here in the parking lot. I've seen a lot of people just kind of perusing through here just to kind of see, um, you know, some of the cool features of some of these bikes. Um, so, yeah, kind of a different feel here, but still all compact and definitely different than downtown Erie. That's for sure. Um, so as you can see, I'm walking toward Lake Erie Speedway <laughs> there. One of the first vendors I thought, which I'm sure might be a new vendor this year is Birch Farms. So you can see fresh food here for some of the bikers. And then once you get walking toward, um, so this would be the equivalent of Vendor Alley if you, what, you know, from where the festival was uh, downtown or the festival, the motorcycle rally, I'm sorry. I'm probably gonna call it a festival like five different times. Um, so as you can see, all the vendors here, a lot of the vendors at least, are set up outside of Lake Erie Speedway. So I am walking in front of Lake Erie Speedway right now. There are more vendors on the inside of Lake Erie Speedway. But there are plenty of motorcycles, plenty of merchandise to see here. Definitely... A lot of people already here today. Kind of surprising. Yes, Doreen. Vendor Alley is. It does. It looks, it's a little bit different. It's a little bit of a different feel. It smells like leather, that's for sure. So um, just to fill you guys in, right before I went live, I uh, looked to see what the temperature was. And it's 80 degrees here in Northeast. Woo! So it's going to be a hot one this weekend. They're expecting temperatures of upper 90s. Well, mid 90s. Heat index of upper 90s tomorrow. So not tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow and Friday or and Saturday. Sorry, my days are all confused, guys. Okay, so while we are looking at Vendor Alley, I'm going to give you um, 
like I showed you earlier, my little uh, Roar on the Shore booklet. I will give you some of the uh, information that I have in there. So today, of course, uh, one of the main events is the Bringing in the Roar Parade. That, of course, starts at um, Presque Isle Downs and Casino. Uh, they will be taking off at 6 p.m. tonight. A different route, obviously, this year. Uh, the Bringing in the Roar Parade is going to be ending here at Lake Erie Speedway, whereas in years prior, it has ended in downtown Erie. So quite a longer route. Um, definitely more ground covered. And, of course... You've got the Grand Marshal this year, Kim Coates. Uh, most of you might know him from Bad Blood uh, or Sons of Anarchy. So we're here. This is the Indian Motorcycle Tent. I know a lot of you guys uh, vendor out for, who are familiar with Vendor Alley recognize this tent. So here we are. We're still on the outside of Lake Erie Speedway right now. There are more vendors on the inside of Lake Erie Speedway. There, it seems to be some new attractions here. I was looking through earlier, kind of trying to get the lay of the land, and I saw ax throwing, <laughs> which we will uh, pass here shortly. But you've got your, uh, your regulars, like the Indian Motorcycle. I know that they do demos, um, and they've been here in year, years past in Erie. Um, your different leather vendors. And of course, if you are just joining us, I'm Erie Times News online reporter Sarah Grabski. I am going to be walking you through the setup of what Roar on the Shore 2019 Motorcycle Rally looks like here at Lake Erie Speedway. This is the first year the Motorcycle Rally has been here. So I'm just kind of walking you through. Sorry, I'm trying to keep the camera as steady as possible. Ooh, there's a sidekick reader. That's pretty cool. Um, tonight is the Bringing in the Roar Parade. We've also got um, Night Ranger is headlining tonight. And of course, I'll show you what the stage looks like when we get inside Lake Erie Speedway. We are still outside Lake Erie Speedway. There's the ax throwing, see? I thought that was interesting. You've got uh, no admittance in this area. So this is like an ax throwing little vendor. I'm sure that they will open later. You've got your food over here. Oh, this looks fun. So we are outside of Lake Erie Speedway right now still, if you're just joining us. Oh, this looks like um, a huge pinball machine. I don't know if you can see it. That's pretty cool. There is a a money machine. So as you can see, I'm walking outside of Lake Erie Speedway right now. Kind of giving, so there's Lake Erie Speedway you can see. Turn the camera around so I can Hi guys, thanks so much for joining me. If you're just joining, I'm Erie Times News online reporter Sarah Gradsky. I am outside of Lake Erie Speedway right now. We are looking at Vendor Alley. Um, feel free to drop any suggestions, comments. What do you want to see? Um, today I will try and fulfill all of your <laughs> wishes here for 2019 Roar on the Shore. It's the first year it's at Lake Erie Speedway. I know a lot of people have been curious about you know, what the lay of the land is here. Everything seems pretty compact, definitely different than downtown Erie. Um, and I am walking you, we are outside right now, walking you up and down Vendor Alley. Parking is right to my left over here. Um, some bikes parked over here already. And then I'm going to be taking you inside Lake Erie Speedway next where there's more vendors. Um, it seems as though there's a ton here. I've been walking you guys up and down some familiar names and some new ones that I actually haven't seen before. So that's exciting. Um, I will be showing you next um, where you go or how I guess you get into Lake Erie Speedway. Um, you walk into basically the main entrance and the woman there told me basically you just need a wristband if you're um, if you're drinking if you're planning on drinking or if you're over 21. So that's basically all they're doing there at the entrance and then you can go to any of the concerts you'd like. 
Um, hold on one sec, let me see this. Make sure you have plenty of funds on you. I know, right? Because you're gonna be buying a ton from this vendor rally. Um, today is the uh, roar, bringing in the Roar Parade, of course. That's the big, the big attraction for Roar on the Shore. Starts at Presque Isle Downs and Casino at 6 p.m., um, of course, ends here at Lake Erie Speedway, so definitely a different route here. I'm gonna turn the camera around. So I'm standing outside of Lake Erie Speedway, Vendor Alley is what they call this or what they have called this in previous years. Um, plenty of vendors here, people walking around. As you can see, tons of stuff. <laughs> I wish I knew the names for all of this kind of stuff. I know like bandanas. <laughs> shirts that's pretty much my knowledge of motorcycles so forgive me all right so we are approaching the entrance of lake erie speedway this might seem familiar to you if you've come here for events so just to give you the lay of the land i'm gonna kind of stop here and show you so this is where you would go into lake erie speedway for concerts there's more vendors in there um and of course, this is Vendor Alley that I'm standing in right now. And then I'm gonna go a little bit over this way. Straight back this way is parking, bike parking. So um, you can't miss it when you're on 89. There's tons of signs saying bike parking this way, bike parking this way. So basically, you're gonna get off your bike, come through Vendor Alley, and into Lake Erie Speedway. Hats, you wanna see hats. Let me see if I can find hats really quick you know what we might be able to even going into i'm not seeing any hats right off hand i'll keep my eyes peeled for you mike suntan lotion yes yeah, suntan lotion as i was just saying um <laughs> i just checked my phone really quick to see um what the temperature was it's 80 degrees here already and it's going to be in the 90s uh the national weather service says tomorrow so it's gonna definitely be a warm one, make sure, and sunny, so make sure, no cooler. Okay, can you make this clear? In your article yesterday it said no coolers, water bottles, any liquids or food beyond the gate. Is this true, still true, or has this changed? Um, that's a good question, Dory. Let me see if I can find someone to ask. I'm just gonna ask one of the ladies here um, as we go in, or you know what? I'm going to assume that this is the gate. Can you answer a question? Do you know, or is there no coolers food beyond this point? Okay, so people can go out there and they can, okay, and they can like have food, but no, nothing in here. Okay, <laughs> thank you. All right, so this is where you would get, you know, your ID. Um, and basically, so this is the gate. So no coolers or any of that stuff, Dory, beyond this point. Um, so outside, I'm going to assume, cause look, there's food right there. I'm going to guess that once you're inside, you can of course imbibe or do whatever, um, purchase beverages and food inside, but nothing outside. So I hope that clears it up. This is the gate basically. So you can bring water and you can bring anything outside of this. Once you pass through these gates, no. So this is where you get your wristband. Of course, if you are 21 and up to drink. Um, and then you would come in and like I said, there's more, um, definitely more vendors this way. So yeah, no problem, Dory. I was a little bit confused on that too. Um, you can see all of these cool so again, vendors outside and vendors inside this year. So that's pretty cool. I'm gonna walk up and down here. If you've got any questions, please feel free to drop them. I'll do my best to get them answered. There's staff that's kind of around here. Um, so here we go. You can see I'm inside Lake Erie Speedway now. I just went through the, the gate um, and you can see there's all kinds of different vendors. Some of these names are familiar to me and some of these are new, so that's definitely exciting. If you are just joining us, you're listening to online reporter Sarah Grabsky, and I am here live at the Roar on the Shore. I'm kind of giving you a lay of the land. Um, 
showing you what you can expect here and kind of um, exactly what you guys will be doing here at your 2019 Roar on the Shore. It's the first year that it's been at Lake Erie Speedway, so I know that a lot of people have had questions about what it's going to look like, what it's going to be. So there's a food and drink vendor. Here, I'll see if I can get up close to some of these prices for you guys too. So, $4 beer, it looks like um, soft drinks, $2 water. Do you know yet how much? Oh yes, Chuck, um, hold on, I'm gonna turn the camera around. I did see that. So for premium parking, $5. I did see that on the way in. Um, so there's, what he's talking about is there's kind of two sections of parking back there, premium parking, which is $5 and then just regular parking you don't have to pay for. So I hope that answers your question. Um, I was trying to get drink prices for you guys. It looks like $2 for water, $5 specialty drinks and mixed drinks, $4 beer. There you go. So this will be, I'm sure, populated and full later. Cold beer, there we go. So you are, if you are, still with me or joining us we are inside lake erie speedway right now i'm walking back toward the entrance for concerts um we were just outside of lake erie speedway where there were a ton of vendors um half of vendor alley is out there half of it is in here i'm sorry if i'm shaking the camera no problem chuck sure sorry if i'm shaking the camera too much I am trying to be as still as possible but um and it, of course like i said it looks like you can buy drinks and food in here. Um, so I don't think any drinks and food are permitted. Let's see some of these wonderful items for sale here. A winery. So it looks at, like at this stand you can buy corn dogs and lemonade, sweet tea, and pretzels. So we're going to go, just to give you guys another kind of like lay of the land, this is Vendor Alley looking this way. Um, and then this is the entrance to the main stage. So this is like how you would get into Lake Erie Speedway. And then this is more Vendor Alley. Um, Dory, thank you for doing this. I also heard water was $4. No, I actually, so in that price list I just showed you guys, it said that water was $2. So it said beer, $4, mixed drinks, $5, water, and I was $2, and I think soda was 3 So hope that that clears that up. Okay, so on a, like this is all <laughs> ice cold drinks. So... Hopefully, and it says, yeah, soda, $2, water, $2 over there. Here, I'll give you a little. Oh, you're fine. All right. And so all kinds of food and drinks here for you guys. Looks like this is the kind of the same setup as downtown, this food, um, food row and restrooms are that way. That's another one of the perks of having it at Lake Erie Speedway is that there will be da da da, -da real restrooms. <laughs> okay. So, thank you guys again so much for joining us. I'm Erie Times News Online reporter Sarah Grabski showing you what your 2019 Roar on the Shore looks like inside Lake Erie Speedway. So, of course, the big draw and attraction today is the Bringin' in the Roar Parade. That, of course, is at 6 p.m., takes off from Presque Isle Downs and Casino um, and ends here at Lake Erie Speedway. So quite the different route. Bit of a longer, uh, <laughs> a bit of a longer, a much longer ride for you guys. Um, and then the, the music tonight is Nine Ranger, Night Ranger, excuse me, starts at 9 p.m. That's the headliner. And the opener is Chrome, and he, they are at 6.30 p.m. Presque Isle Wine Cellars. Smoked something. Oh, 
I'm sorry, I think that is actually cigars. I thought it said like smoked meats. <laughs> nope. <laughs> so here are different vendors for you. More beer slash drinks over here. This way is the Budweiser Pavilion. This is kind of cool. Um, it looks like there is a skunk and goat tavern. Uh, little booth over here. And then like seating back here. If you're not familiar, Skunk and Goat, Goat is a Northeast staple here restaurant. I should get a picture with that life-size beer. Okay, so I am headed toward the main entrance of um, Lake Erie Speedway. And I'm going to show you guys next. We are walking through Vendor Alley. I'm going to show you guys next um, the concert area. Ooh, that wind feels good. So more vendors lining pretty much this entire area. So if you're just joining us, I'm going to walk and talk. I'm Mary Times News online reporter Sarah Grabsky. I am bringing you live to the Roar on the Shore, the 2019 Roar on the Shore. It's its first year at Lake Erie Speedway. Um, we are walking through Vendor Alley right now on the inside of um, Lake Erie Speedway. There are tons of vendors also set up on the outside. Um, the difference is that once you go through the gates, no food or drink, you need to get a wristband um, at the gates if you are 21, <laughs> basically to drink. Um, so, and then they will be selling like beer and wine and all kinds of stuff in here, Mi mixed specialty drinks and water, of course. Um, Tons of pop and water vendors set up here, which is music to my ears because it's going to be very hot this weekend. So if you are coming, be please be prepared. Um, like some of the commenters were saying, sunscreen definitely. If it's sunny, um, it's going to be a hot one. I am walking toward the entrance to get to concerts and entertainment. It looks like Night Ranger is going to be headlining here tonight at 9 p.m. Lita Ford was last night. And then if I'm not mistaken it's Steve Adler Stephen Adler yes tomorrow um, so I'm gonna turn the camera around and I'm gonna show you guys this is where you would go to access the entertainment which is the I'm gonna back up a little bit is the main entrance into Lake Erie Speedway so these sorry I don't mean to fling the camera around the this is where you would come in and then this is where you would go into Lake Erie Speedway to access entertainment. Gates open at 6 p.m. it says. So you'd walk through here. And it looks like somebody's warming up here. So you guys might be in for a little bit of a treat. So I'm going to stop talking because it's going to get loud here, but you can kind of see what I'm doing. Let me know if you have any questions. So this is the Speedway, Lake Erie Speedway. The concerts are going to be down here, it looks like. So you can see that's where the stage is, is right there.
P.S. No warming up. It's just, they're just testing the sound right now. So this is where you would stand. There's the Budweiser beer garden tent or whatever it is. Um, I'm gonna walk backwards and answer, answer your question, Rachel. So for entertainment, it looks like no. Um, six o'clock will be the earliest that the gates will open um, to get into actual, this, the actual Lake Erie Speedway, like the entertainment, the concerts. Um, but Vendor Alley and everything outside of here, it looks like it's going to be open. I mean, it's open now. So you can basically come at any time, but I think they're gonna start letting people in for the concerts at 6 p.m. Okay. Yes, thank you for sticking with us. All right, so we're, I'm gonna turn the camera back around so you can see that's where basically all of your entertainment is gonna be. I'm walking back outside toward Vendor Alley. Okay, sorry if I'm jerking the camera around. Okay. So vendors lined up. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna take my sunglasses off my face because I'm sweating. So this is where you would walk in to get to the concerts. I know, it's gonna be a hot one, Jim. All right, so I'm going to take you guys back out, maybe show you some of the bikes since I showed you guys that vendor alley. So this is me. Um, I'm with the media. I'm with the Times News. The Erie Times News. I was going to say, you're official. I'm official. Kind of. <laughs> as official as it gets, right? <laughs> Thank you. Okay. So, I'm headed back out toward Vendor Alley. Again, that axe throwing just looks amazing. So... As you can see, more stuff out here. A little bit of a different layout, definitely. Let's see if I can get, here's some of the actual Raw on the Shore merch, merchandise. Is there place, places for shade at all? There is, so when I, Dory, you know, when I just walked in, like right, <laughs> of course this is shaded. Um, when you walk in, I don't know if you can see it, like underneath that blue Allstate tarp, there's like about a few feet that you can kind of get a little bit of shade. But it is supposed to be in the 90s tomorrow. Okay. Already activity. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if I can go back this way and show you, but unfortunately, it looks like there's not a whole lot of shade out here. See if I can show you guys some of these bikes. There's some beef sticks. Beef jerky. These are cool. And of course, Something that I thought was really cool, Birch Farms is here. So local Northeast 
business here getting into we're on the shore very nice all right i'm headed back toward the bikes to show you guys seems like a lot of people are kind of gathering over here so i'm gonna see if i can get a good look at some of these beautiful bikes to show you guys Thanks for getting back to me so I can go see all the vendors of, correct. Yes, Rachel. So everything is open now. I mean, you could come to Northeast right now if you wanted to um, and purchase anything you want. The gates for the concert. I don't even know if it, it's not even the gates. It's just basically if you want to go to the concert, they won't let you in um, to get your spot until 6 p.m. So that's, you're right. Okay. So some of these beautiful bikes. These are amazing. Also, be a little bit forewarned. This ground out here is not very, uh, it's kind of bumpy. <laughs> High heels were not the right choice today, guys. All right, so you can see some of these beauties if I don't fall in one of these holes before then. And if you're with us, this is parking that looking back toward Lake Erie Speedway right now. So it is literally, I mean, it's feet away. Kind of the same setup as downtown area. You're close to your bike. You're not walking long distances. Um, vendors on the inside and outside of Lake Erie Speedway, but you can see all these beauties. Okay. All right, uh, I'm going to keep walking, but I'm going to put it out there that I'm probably gonna end this in the next few minutes. So if you have any questions or any last suggestions, anything you wanna see, please throw it out there now because I would love to show you guys everything you'd like while we're out here. That breeze feels nice. There is a little bit of a breeze, I should mention that. but it is hot. <laughs> All right, so as you can see, look at these gorgeous, gorgeous creatures, things. <laughs> I don't even, I don't know much about bikes, but they sure do look pretty. All right, I'm gonna turn the uh, camera around. So if you guys um, have any questions, um, anything else lingering, please feel free to comment. We'll try and get back to you um, as GoErie.com comment back. Our coverage of this is so extensive. Our reporter who does it, his name is Ron Leonardi. He's been covering this for as long as I've been at the paper. Um, so he knows the ins and outs of roars, it will, of roar on the shore. It will be very interesting to see um, some of the reaction response here. First year at Lake Erie Speedway. Um, Again, make sure you stay tuned in with our coverage, GoErie.com. We will have all kinds of photo galleries for you. We have photo galleries up on our website right now um, from Lita Ford last night and um, the Fallen Riders ride, of course. Um, really, really, really extensive coverage. And um, yeah, we hope to see you guys here out on the at the 2019 Row on the Shore. Thanks so much for joining us um, and we'll see you later. Stay cool this weekend.